This video is to talk about instrumentation uh, in Alberta, BC and Saskatchewan. I get asked a lot what I do and how to get into the trade. So basically instrumentation is a four year apprenticeship program where you uh, do a four year apprenticeship then at the end of the fourth year you can write your uh, journeyman certificate with your red seal and then uh, become a red seal journeyman which allows you to work anywhere in Canada. And basically instrumentation is where you are a tradesperson and most people start out working for contracting companies. As a contractor you'll go to different plant sites and you'll either do maintenance or construction at these different plant sites and work on different instruments in the oil field. Basically an easy way to talk about instrumentation is you can say you're an oil field mechanic uh, and anything to do with transmitters to calibrations to doing construction, to working on valves. Um, it's a very broad trade and it's also very interesting. So this video is just to kind of give some uh, insight to younger people how to get into the trade and what to expect. So basically this tool bag I have focused on right now is all the tools you would need to uh, work in the trade instrumentation as an apprentice. It's about probably $500 worth of tools. Uh, if you buy high quality you can probably get them at Canadian Tire for a lot cheaper if you buy the um, Canadian Tire Mastercraft brand but you'll probably regret it later and want to upgrade to Klein or uh, some other um, specific brand name. So basically as an apprentice to get a job in instrumentation you want to go apply at some contracting shops in your area such as Tarpon, Pyramid, um, Independent Electric and Controls. Usually these shops are fairly easy to get a job with as an apprentice if you show some motivation and some ambition. So once you get indentured as an apprentice you'll get a blue book and then you can take that blue book with you if you quit your job and uh, just carry that with you throughout your apprenticeship and it just tracks your apprenticeship throughout uh, your career. So once you get enough hours as a first year uh, you need about 1500 hours per year then you can go to school and once you pass your anniversary date which is basically they make it so you have to take the full four years to complete the apprenticeship so basically you need 1500 hours per year which isn't really a lot and then wait a year per um, term of uh, going to school and basically as an instrumentation journeyman you can run your own truck which you'll get paid for uh, anywhere from you know 22 to 28 bucks an hour and then journeyman rate is anywhere from 36 to 44 bucks an hour uh, working in the oil field so you're paid quite well but you do have to uh, endure some tough conditions usually you start work at 7 and work till about 5 sometimes you can work till as late as uh, 9 or 10 but that's uh, not very frequent however it is frequent to pull 12 hour days where you're rolling back into town about uh, 7 at night and uh, usually the times when you're working like that is when the road conditions are, are bad and the weather conditions are bad and it's icy and snowy and cold and however you do get compensated quite well and as an instrument tech you don't have to work too hard lift too heavy but you do have to use your brain and you do have to be somewhat mechanically inclined uh, so it's a very interesting trade. Uh, if you start at 18, you can be a journeyman by the time you're 21, 22, and be easily making 100 to 120 thousand a year just personal uh, gross income. And as well, most of these uh, contracting shops offer 5% RSP matching. So you put in 5% and the employer will match 5% uh, as well. So for an apprentice or a young uh, student, uh, you can get started with instrumentation by starting the RAP program, RAP, Registered Apprentice Program, at your high school. And after school every day, you can work two or three hours for an instrumentation shop and just clean the shop and just get some hours towards your apprenticeship. Uh, I know of one guy who started the RAP program at age 15 and by the time he was 20 he was a, a journeyman and uh, so then you're making you know 38 40 bucks an hour and you're only 20 years old so it's a good starting point to enter the workforce and if you choose to do something else this job will provide you with enough income that uh, to allow you to do that if you want to go to university or uh, do another trade or, or, or whatever, open your own business, um, whether it be instrumentation, personal fitness training, health, whatever, anything that suits your fancy. So basically, after four years, you get something like this. It's a Red Seal Journeyman Instrumentation 
what do they call it nowadays? Instrumentation certificate, their journeyman certificate. So you'll get that and then basically uh, work wherever you want in uh, Western Canada, Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan, and have very many other opportunities to travel in, uh, international. And uh, oil patch is also getting a lot bigger in the States and it's not only confined to the oil field, but also you can go work at Pulp Mills, uh, nuclear facilities, uh, power stations, and uh, things such as that. So. Uh, it's a good trade to get started at when you're young. Uh, the younger the better and uh, many people also will do instrumentation and also do their electrical ticket uh, uh, once they finish instrumentation or versa visa. So opportunities are out there. This video is just to help people get started. If you guys have more questions I will start a web page or do another video and you guys can post questions and I'll answer them or or uh, whatever I just get asked quite a bit what I do and what it is it's a very popular trade it's growing all the time and uh, throughout Alberta every little small town's got uh, electrical and instrumentation shop so uh, wherever you're living in Alberta Saskatchewan or BC and it shouldn't be too far you shouldn't be should be able to find a job and uh, and get paid fairly well so that's it for